Guys, picture this for a second. You are walking through a busy downtown district and you see a police squad marching past. But right in the middle of the formation, keeping perfect pace with the officers, is a humanoid robot. This isn't a scene from Robocop or a Black Mirror episode. This is actual footage from the streets of Shenzhen, China. People watched in disbelief as the engine AIT-800 patrolled alongside special police units. But here is the part that should actually scare you. It didn't look glitchy and it didn't look experimental. It looked normal. It moved with the confidence of a machine that knows exactly what it's it's doing. But the story gets darker. Just weeks before this patrol, the CEO of the same company put on body armor and let this robot roundhouse kick him directly in the stomach. So, the question is, are we ready for a future where machines are authorized to use physical force? In today's video, we are breaking down the rise of police robots, the viral accident where a robot took out its own trainer, and the new service that lets you rent these things for your next birthday party. The future is here, and it's hitting harder than we thought. Let's dive in. Let's start with that police footage because it represents a massive shift in the industry. For the last decade, robots in law enforcement were boring. They were assistive tools, basically remote-controlled cars with cameras used for bomb disposal. They were passive. The engine AIT-800 changes the narrative completely. We are witnessing a shift from assistance to intervention. When the company released the footage of the robot kicking its own CEO, Cao Tongyang, they were sending a very specific message. They wanted to prove that these aren't just toys. They are systems capable of delivering real, physical impact. Critics used to say these videos were CGI. Well, taking a steel foot to the chest proved them wrong. Think about the implications. A machine that can navigate stairwells, break through doors, and restrain suspects changes the entire dynamic of policing. Engine AI has already raised over $180 million in plans to begin large-scale scenario testing in 2026. This isn't a concept anymore. It's a product launch. While Engine AI is training them to fight, Unitree is training them to move, and sometimes it works too well. You might have seen a viral clip of the Unitree G1 recently. An engineer was wearing a motion capture suit, which allows the robot to copy human movement in real time. The engineer threw a high kick. The robot mirrored him instantly. The problem? They were facing each other. The robot's legs swept out and completely wiped the engineer out, sending him crashing to the floor. Here is the crazy part. The robot didn't glitch. It didn't fail. It executed the command with such precision and speed that the human couldn't react in time. This confirms what we saw in the Kung Fu Kid demo videos. These machines are becoming incredibly agile, but it also highlights a major risk human error. When you are working with a machine that has superhuman strength and reaction time, one small mistake can lead to real physical injury. But it's not all scary. The tech giants know that if they want these robots in our homes, they need to make us like them. Their solution? Make them dance. At the recent Tech Fest 2025 at IIT Bombay, that same Unitree G1 took the stage and performed a flawless dance routine to the viral track Fine Law. The crowd went wild. And this is exactly what the companies want. By placing humanoid robots in live performances, they are desensitizing us. It's a psychological tactic called normalization. If you see a robot dancing at a concert or serving drinks at a gala, you stop seeing it as a terminator and start seeing it as an appliance. From concerts in China to university stages in India, these robots are moving out of the lab and into human-centric spaces. So, the big question, can you buy one? Well, maybe you don't need to. We are entering the era of robot as a service. A Chinese platform called Agabot, or Qingyan Rent, has launched what is basically the Uber for robots. You can now rent a humanoid robot for weddings, business conferences, or trade shows. The pricing is actually shocking. You can rent a high-end dancing robot for about $690 a day. If you just want a robot dog to entertain the kids, that's around $138. This is a rapidly standardizing market. Agibot is already in 50 cities and plans to expand to 200 cities by 2026. They are taking a chaotic market and turning it into a streamlined business. The robot rental industry is expected to cross $1.4 billion next year. We are looking at a future where hiring a robot waiter is as normal as renting a sound system. So, we are standing at a crossroads. On one side, we have the Engine AIT-800, preparing for police work, capable of using physical force. On the other side, we have the Unitree G1, dancing at festivals and being rented out for weddings. The automation of real-world workflows is happening faster than anyone predicted. I want to hear from you in the comments. This is the big question. If you saw a police robot patrolling your neighborhood at night, would you feel safer or would you be terrified? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you found this deep dive useful, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed. We cover the future of AI and robotics every single week and you don't want to miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.